Yeah, one, two, one, two, one, three. I'm the MC called Chris Dangerfield. Hi. <laughs> Don't know. I, that came from the Ice-T album, Drama. Used to like that when I was 13. <laughs> I remember walking around my house going, fucking blue lights, reading me right, it's drama. And my dad was like smoking his roll up going, yeah, you sure about that? <laughs> Man, I need a shave. Jesus, look, look it's like, ooh. It's, like, Hello. <laughs> it's all a bit, <laughs> Very excitable at this late hour. That's because we all like a sexy witch. Traumatic, actually. There was a, my mother, bless her, she organised a street party. Oh, weren't they different times in the 70s and 80s? And everyone would put in a few quid each week and then they'd go organise coach trips away, barbecues in the street where the council let us close the road off. All these amazing things. It was only like a, you know, a shitty middle of, like, terraces, two up, two downs. But the street party was awesome. And they once had this uh, witches and vicars random excuse to dress the women up. And uh, every other woman, mother, housewife, was sort of like that, but the 80s version. And my mum had like a big onk with warts on it and like a funny sort of sticking out eye, gutted. Absolutely traumatic. I remember seeing my old man looking at all the other women like, whoa. <laughs> they were like just short black mini skirts and red lipsticks with a little sexy bit of vampire blood. My mum was like, hello. <laughs> yeah, still hurts. Still hurts. Anyway, so let's check out this. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I dislike about these people, I've done a few videos about liars, mystical liars, I like to call them, is that they're lying. They're just It's just lies. It's just so weird and random. And I hate the way they deliver it, like, oh, yeah, put a bit of Dragon's Echo. You can get Dragon's Echo on the internet. Uh, put a bit of that in there. Breathe too furious, oh, oh, and and then mix it up with your godly elbow. It's just, just they taking people for mugs, and then of course there's always a fucking yeah. If you just send your money here, well, make sure you get some more magic, unless you don't want your uh, mother-in-law's cancer to get better. <laughs> I mean that's the extreme version, but they're bullshitters, and they need calling out. Let's speak to this liar. <laughs> Come on, this is your own fucking video. I mean, Jesus, just edit it. Check it. How to make a sentence. Hi, I'm Rebecca Ryan. <laughs> How to make a shit video. Hi, I'm Rebecca Ryan. I'm a shamanic witch. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. I'm not. And my practice is here in uh, Melbourne, Victoria. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to make a spell. We're going to look at just the base ingredients. So we have only three ingredients today. What, what? Hang on. No, no. This is the start of the video. Where's the background? What are you talking about? Make a spell. You can't just come out of nowhere. We're, we're, we're going to make a spell. These are the ingredients. Whoa, whoa, what? What's the history of this? Where are you getting this from? Where did you learn it? What's going on? Hello? Is that the time? I'll show you why you put them together, how you put them together, and then how to burn a spell. <laughs> Hang on, love of I just made it. How do you know it's going to be so bad you have to burn it? Weak. From here you can make any spell that you'd like. So, we start first of all with a mortar and a pestle. What did you say there? Mortar and what? You can make any spell that you'd like. So, we start first of all with a mortar and a pestle. <laughs> pestle. 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 Here you can make any spell that you'd like. So, we start first of all with a mortar and a pestle. Pestle. So, mortar and pestle, we have the base of the spell starting already. Pestle. As you can see from the red around the bottom of the mortar, um, we build always the spell on what the last spell was. So, you uh, What about the first spell? You always make your spell on the back of the last spell that you made. And what about the first spell? Regardless of what the signature was of the last spell. And what about the first spell? What that means is every time that you make a spell, every time that you sit in front of this, it carries all of the energies of everything that you've made before. What about the first time? So it just increases in beauty and in strength. <laughs> just, just this is what I mean, just hogwash. Uh, so you always base it on the spell before because it increases the beauty and strength. <sighs> so, 
First of all, we're going to start with a little bit of skunk basil. So this is homegrown skunk, freshly non-irradiated herb skunk. It's beautiful, beautiful skunk. I'm going to pull off, stick it in a Rizzler, just a little bit of basil, and make up a bowl. So just a little bit. It's just enough to get the flavour of basil through. Why? What, is someone going to eat it? Is this for the devil's sandwich or something? Just enough. Just, I mean, when you're making a spell, just make sure you've got enough basil to get the flavour through for the ghosts. So the magical harmonies around basil. Oh, here we go. The magical harmonies. Are all listed on the web. You can find them on all sorts of sites. <laughs> just random. I mean, they're all out there. Just have a look. Wiki spells. All over the place. All over the place, just just flagrant bullshit. It's particularly useful for me because it's one of my um, base ingredients in my body. So that means that basil for me is very closely aligned to how I think and how I feel. So what the random fuck is that? Hang on again. My body. So that means that basil for me is very closely aligned to how I think and how I feel. So right, okay, sure, that's cleared that up. Skunk. Often I'll use basil for things. Just add just a little bit, so just a pinch of lavender. Again, this is homegrown and non-irradiated, so you have all of the freshness and all of the fragrance, as well as all of the um, original signatures of lavender. Random, the original signatures. I mean, that's important with spells, because <laughs> when they're trying to auction them, they go, is that the original signature of lavender? Have you got the precedence for that? Without any kind of man-made... Uh, fucking men. And the very last thing that I'm going to add is a little bit more bullshit. It's just a couple of pieces of frankincense. So this is a resin. So this is a completely different looking creature. And it's not a creature at all. This one um, will give us a little bit of time with our grinding. So <laughs> this is just going to help it crush. And it goes. Oh, the, oh, check out the awful fake smile. This woman is two spells away from suicide. Let's watch. A little bit of time without grinding. So in it goes. Oh my god. Sociopathic. Once more, just, just watch. A little bit. Imagine this is uh, your partner and you've just said something really important. Like, listen, I need a couple of weeks away. Yeah, I, I'm just having some real emotional times and, and this is their response because it's not about her, it's about you. This is what, yeah, you know. Time without grinding, so in it goes. Oh, <laughs> hide the knives! Hide the knives! What I'm going to do now is just grind. So I'm intending to mix these things. As I mix, I'm putting in whatever my intention is. So this is just a base spell. This is a happy house. <laughs> no it ain't you look like a psycho with your little this isn't a happy house well for me in my house because of the basil to mix it i need to sort of bash a little bit so that the frankincense is mixed up but importantly i'm turning the mortar and pestle just a little bit at pestle. Every time. so every mix i will turn this about a third of the way so a third of a wheel oh this is a fucking great video what I'm trying to do is when I just made it so you can make sure that and then it's all done. Jesus. Turn. And it doesn't really matter which way you turn. I always turn counterclockwise because of the shamanic and the underworld connections that I have. No, listen, darling, if you're going to talk about the shamanic underworld connections that you have, can you not be banging your fucking pestle up and down? Pestle. Pestle. Lots of people call uh, turn clockwise. It's completely up to you. You will know how much mixing to do and how much time and effort to put into each wheel based on um, what your outcome is and how you feel. Oh, right. So it doesn't matter is what you're saying because it's fucking nonsense. So as I said, this is a really common spell for me in my house. I know. This woman's expression, her weird short breaths, the little jerky changes in attitude... This is a woman who lies to other people about spells, but also lies to herself. She's sitting there smashing up frankincense, basil, original signatures of lavender. She's talking about the underworld's fucking 
shamanic contact she have and she knows it's lies and she's just hitting her thinking what the fuck has happened to me lonely old spinster with nothing but self delusion to get her through the night and no doubt imaginative use of the fucking pestle 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 I Oh, just one or the other. So having mixed and having turned a couple of times. <laughs> the random turning. It's almost like you consider your your. It's as if you're winding the clock of mystic time backwards. I'm going to sit in front of this just quietly. So this is what it looks like now. It's not very mixed. <laughs> looks like someone's ashes. I'm going to sit in front of this quietly, and I'm going to send in a blessing. And this blessing I would normally do silently. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the blessing that she'd normally do silently. Imagine this poor lonely old woman sitting in front of a fucking bowl of herbs going, please get me a boyfriend. <laughs> but for our sake, I'll put a blessing in it that says, heavens above and earth beneath, take these ingredients now and blend them, mix them and bind them for the health of my house my family and my home. Thank you. It's done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Did you get that? I can't turn the uh, I can't turn the thing up anymore. I don't think. I've, I've tried to. Let's see. Let's see if we can have it again. So that's now. That went. Oh fuck off. It's done. It's done. And for the health of my house, my family, and my home. Thank you. It's done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Sorry, but it's, if it wasn't so funny, it would be what it actually is. Very, very tragic. So, that's now. That went from just ingredients to then an essence and to now a spell because now it's blessed. If I wanted to, I could invoke one of the gods. So I could... <laughs> just, I mean, if I wanted to, I could invoke a god, but pff, ah, fuck it, man. I'm busy. I've got the oovering to do. Like a household god. <laughs> household god. Or I could invoke a high god like Apollo. Or... <laughs> Literally could invoke Apollo. Or I could get some dragons round here if I wanted to. Or Yahweh. Or Vishnu or anyone I want. Oh, for fuck's sake. Down, down, Vishnu. Oh, wait, did you hear that? I'm, I'm talking over. Listen, she'll say, or Vishnu or anyone I want. Anyone. A high god like Apollo or Vishnu or anyone I wanted or a low god, so that might. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, as an atheist, that shouldn't concern me. I mean, but it's it's a weird mixing of what Apollo and then Vishnu. <laughs> Who next? The Yeti. Be an old Egyptian god. Oh, any old Egyptian god. The invocation that you put in a spell is completely, completely up to you and should be done after um, some research and some meditation. So the spell makes itself known to you. More non... This is what hippies, they fuck me off. I've been at festivals. I used to be into this. Not this shit, but, you know, I was around hippies at festivals. Just random. Oh, you know, the invocation should... You should do some meditation. Oh, a bit of that, a bit of that. Sometimes it helps if you do a bit of yoga. You know, do some runes. Yeah, no, yeah, dancing. Oh, fire and juggling's good too, Vishnu. Anything. Just a patchwork of esoteric nothingness. Now, to burn this spell, it's about ready for burning. It's about ready for burning now, yeah. How? Why? What? There's nothing has been explained. This is cack. It's cack. This is rubbish. You are a drain on yourself. I'm going to... This is a fireproof dish. It's much loved and used. <laughs> it's much loved and used. Who gives a shit? What? Of course it's fireproof. You're not going to burn it in a fucking... Wicker bin, are you? I'm going to light this little piece of charcoal. <laughs> Fire lighter. <laughs> charcoal lights by sparkling. So you can see it just starting to sparkle down the bottom and it gets very hot very quickly. So I'm going to put that down and it will sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. 
There's so many. I, I imagine there's so many of these lonely witches all around the world sitting in rooms doing nothing like this for no reason, for no effect, just nothing. God, man, you you get one life. Make something of it. Don't waste your time just fucking around with fuck shit. <laughs> it's just insane I mean it's not even a mistake this is just carefully calculated bullshit I mean you learn from mistakes there's no learning here she does it over and over again again all ingredients are burnt on the ingredients before except for the first one so you can see the, the smoke rising and the sparkle going across the surface I know that this is quite a dry spell, so I know that it's alright for me now to start putting the spell into the middle of this um, charcoal block. If there were wet ingredients, I would wait until this charcoal block had gone almost white, so I knew that the water from the spell wouldn't put the charcoal out. Ooh, look. look a life. A life. Wasted. <laughs> And the last thing that I'd recommend in the storage of the spell is to put a piece of metal in. So that might be, um, sometimes they use a paper clip, sometimes they... <laughs> a bit of a paper clip. Safety pin, I mean, just anything. A bit of silver foil. It's a pin. Syringe. Sometimes they use a hair clip, anything metal. Literally any bit of metal she can grab hold of while she's invoking Vishnu. Which will hold the resonance of the spell. Oh, resonance. Yeah, sure, sure. So if this spell is going to be stored, it will always be stored with a piece of metal in it. <laughs> so you can stick a paper clip in there and then you've got the spell in the paper clip. What spell? Doing what? For why? Just, just with nothing. The metal obviously won't burn. Um, <laughs> obviously, yeah. Well, don't know though. <laughs> We've got Vishnu on the firm. Anything could happen. Mahabharat. Neither will it destroy the charcoal or hurt anything if I do end up putting it on um, the fire. It just sits quietly and holds all of the ingredients together and the spell. Great. Thank you for listening. That's all from me. Absolutely unconvincing, incredible bullshit. Let's have a look at her website. Let's see what happens here. Rebecca Carry on. Rebecca Re Ryan. <laughs> Shit, man, it is like Rebecca Carry on. Here we go. Rebecca. Come on, come on. We ain't got much time, Rebecca. Here we go. Rebecca Ryan. I just kill some time. Pessel. Rebecca Ryan, the future is ours. No, not her. Absolutely what the fuck is that? That's not her, is it? Unless she has this is about running a business. She's a futurist and an economist. Fuck you, Rebecca Ryan, you lying, witch burning, basil lying, paperclip storing, resonance hippie. Fuck you.